Ring Christmas bells. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to a Christmas short. We're going to make individual chicken pot pies. The reason why chicken pot pies are awesome is that they're delicious and cute, and you can also prepare them kind of in advance for those Christmas afternoons when your friends pop over. Um, and they're, they're beautiful and cute and convenient. So let's make chicken pot pies. Peas, carrots, onions, chicken. Some herbs, which I forgot to buy, but it's okay because we can use dry. A sauce called a bechamel, a bechamel, <laughs> which is basically a, a loose kind of roux family, basically butter, flour, and milk or cream. I sous vide the chicken. You don't have to sous vide the chicken. You can just cook the chicken. For the sous vide, I put huge pieces of butter in the bag and rosemary, thyme, and obviously salt and pepper. We're using quite small, cutesy little containers, and we're not gonna do a full crust, which is quite uh, intense. Um, we're just gonna do the cheat, which is a puff pastry top with two vents in it. So chic and really easy. We're gonna think about chicken pieces being the right size for this, as well as our onion and carrot pieces, okay? The carrots, that's from my garden. Can you, can you believe that? I cut off his little false leg. My carrots are so cute. When I was a little kid, they used to call me the rabbit. I was a very small appetite, but I eat anything. But I loved carrots and vegetables, so they would call me the rabbit. Here we go. I'm cutting these pieces fairly slim in little bite-sized bits, thinking about my container. Chicken is cut. Here are my peas and carrots. These are just frozen peas that I defrosted. I'm going to crack an egg into this bowl, preparing for my egg wash, which is actually a little ways off. And I'm now going to proceed to the stove to saute the ingredients. So this is that beautiful gray ombre. Le Creuset ombre. So. Hot pan. That's right, so we're gonna heat up this pan. Here's my chopped onion. We're just making a, a mess. And we're also going to do the bechamel, or the um, thickener, in the pan with this, so you really have no excuse not to make chicken pot pies. Um, I'm just gonna put the chicken in. Sorry about the movement here. So I'm, this is cooked. So I'm essentially just sort of co-mingling it. I'm gonna deglaze this a little bit with my favorite ingredient. <laughs> Vermouth. I told you guys already, I can go through a bottle of this cooking in a weekend. And I'm gonna cook that off. And I'm gonna throw in the veg. Voila. Already looks like pot pie, doesn't it? I'm adding some dried herbs. Needs a little bit more salt. and put a poivre. Okay, I'm gonna do an in-pan bechamel, or bechamel. I'm gonna melt this butter. And you're a dinner partier, so you know you're also going on sight and feeling. Does this look like this filling of chicken, chicken pot pie? I'm gonna put a little bit of cream and a little bit of flour. That's probably an eighth of a cup. And I'm gonna cook this until it thickens, which will be quite shortly. Oh, look what's happening. That doesn't look like chicken pot pie filling. I don't know what does. I'm gonna put a little more cream because it's quite actually quite tight. Turning off the heat, a little bit of salt. Okay, that's ready. I'm gonna take this over to my filling station and create chicken pot pies. Chicken pot pie, but Chicken pot pie. Bum ba dee da dum. Chicken pot pie. How cute are those? Now, if you know somebody's coming over, fill the containers. You, you're making chicken pot pies. It's a luxury item, right? But if you find that it's too thick for you, you can let it down with vermouth, a little knob of butter, makes it more rich, a tiny bit of vinegar if you think it's too rich, you know? Puff pastry. You're not afraid of it, why? 
because you're a dinner partier. And also, it's the greatest cheat. It's not really a cheat. Like we've said before, you know, make puff pastry once in your life. Make rough puff or puff pastry. Then just don't bother with it. Famous chefs buy puff pastry. Okay, it's okay. All right, here's the puff pastry. This is the best brand. I used um, Pepperidge Farm. It wasn't as good. This is still frozen. <laughs> this should be amusing. It, it broke, which is okay because we're making pot pies. But it broke because it's still frozen. So don't panic. Pick the ones that are the least frozen and use those. We're going to try and see what happens. So a little bit of flour on your surface. Not too much because you don't want big pieces of raw flour, right? And kind of... Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's actually really easy to work with. It's impossible to roll because uh, it's frozen solid. <laughs> um, this actually might be okay because I want them kind of thick. You know, in theory, if you know they're coming, you can defrost this, roll them, cut them, and put them on a parchment paper in the fridge. That you can do in advance. Not really overnight because it'll dry, the pastry will dry. So this is defrosting now. Okay. Light changing, the camera guy's favorite. Light changing, the camera guys love it. So how rustic are we gonna go? That's too big. Should we make it square on the round thing or round? Round is corny. So we're gonna do square. I'm putting this in the center, I'm looking at it, and I'm cutting a sort of basic square. I'm now going to paint the side of this so it sticks on. I'm gonna put this like this, press it kind of, <laughs> that's really big. I'm gonna vent it and then I'm gonna paint it with egg wash. Now, I guess you could put this in the fridge and then leave it until your friends come and then bake it. You just can't leave this overnight, the pastry, in the fridge, but you can do everything else. I mean, you can do it up until this point, I guess. Forgot to add the liquid. Okay, here we go. Second one. The light is changing. Adam and Hightow hate it. You know, Nick's in the edit room going, I hate those guys. I hate those guys. Curse you, son! Okay, I'm cutting a smaller square this time. I'm gonna let this down with a little bit of vermouth. You can use chicken stock. Just a little bit. I'm gonna paint around this one the same way. I put a little bit of vermouth in this one, remember? I'm placing the square over. I'm pressing it down. I'm venting it. These are gonna be kind of rustic and beautiful. I'm gonna put a little rock salt on the top, a little Malden salt on the top of the pastry, like this. Let's put these in the oven. Uh, 410 convection for the amount of time it takes for the pastry to puff. If you have your pot pies out of the fridge for a long time before you bake them, you should chill them before you put them in because uh, the puff pastry puffs better if it's cold. Oh. Oh. Do you know somebody that'd be like, nah, chicken pot pie? Who can deny? If it's a pot pie, you might just get the guy. Or girl. Chicken Popeye, but da dee da da chicken Popeye, bum ba dee da dum chicken Popeye.